Hello guys, today I want to show you an example from Laravel JetStream code about how to use policies and traits in Laravel. It's not that much about JetStream, but it's about examples of how to structure the code and how to separate the code so each part of that code would be really readable. So let me explain. For example, you have some kind of controller or in this case it's just stream action, doesn't really matter that much. And then you have permissions, gates. So gate for user, you check authorize some ability for some record, for team for example. And that ability is not in a single gate, it's in a policy. So team model, this one is attached to team policy by JustStream, where you can find a method called add team member. So that's kind of a tip number one. Did you know that in policy, you can add your own custom methods on top of the default ones? So if we generate make policy with model, the default methods are these ones, view any, view, create, update, delete, restore, and force delete. Kind of going through typical CRUD behavior. But this example shows that you can add more methods like this, add team member, update team member, remove team member and others. So that's tip number one. And then another tip is for this user owns team. This is very readable, some method which explains that the user is team owner or not. Now, where that method is located, you would think it is in the user model. But if we go to that user model, instead we have a trait from JetStream called use has teams. And inside of that trait, we have all the helpful methods for some conditions about users and teams. So is it the current team, getting the current team, switch between teams, get all teams, owned teams and others, including owns team, the one that we need. So that has teams is a trait that comes from just stream vendor in this case. But what that structure allows us to do is to reuse that trait somewhere else. So maybe user has teams, or maybe some other entities would have teams, other models like customers, maybe projects would have teams. Actually, in this case, probably project is a bad example, but you get the idea. What I wanted to show you as a structure is that you have policy with custom methods that are resolved by methods from the model. But if you want it to be reused in many models, you can separate them into a trait. I have more videos about traits specifically on this channel. And I will link those in the description below so you can watch some more. What do you think about this structure? Maybe you used Jetstream with teams in your projects. So did you find any limitations or drawbacks? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.